democracies around the world are under increasing pressure. That is why we need to come together for the defense of democracy and freedom more than ever. This year, in a very special virtual edition of the conference, we will use the technologies that connect us to strengthen our democracies. Where we want to also say, yes, there are all these difficulties here during the pandemic, but we also want to be optimistic and say, there are also innovative ways. Like we do this summit, people have figured out doing virtual town hall meetings, figured out new ways of keeping up sort of the democracy activism flame. Under such heavy pressure, however, it doesn't make bowing to China or kowtow to Beijing recognized as kind of wise, wise choice. I think as investor, the best way to safeguard your interest is to voice out when you find something goes wrong. That's how a democratic society should work like. For Taiwan, offering help has never been a question of quid pro quo. It is simply what friends do in times of need. We believe we should take a similar view about helping ourselves in order to help others when it comes to democracy as well. Let's speak clearly, and more importantly, let's act decisively. Let's not leave any confusion about the choice between tyranny and freedom. Access to the ballot is supposed to be one of the greatest things of democracy. And here we are, uh, uh, you know, having held ourselves up as the leader of the free world for a long time, and certainly of the Western world and democracies, and we're not meeting the standard that we ought to be meeting. But I do think democracies can control the virus, and I think we need to focus on that, while clearly those that have authoritarian tendencies are using it to push even further and create um, a really authoritarian governments and some of them say oh well it's because we're trying to control the virus when actually they're trying to control the people and have power part of our duty as a company was to make sure that when we could help ensure uh, government infrastructure was stable and reliable that it was important i do think it, it's the responsibility of top executives from private enterprises to engage in public debate. I'm, I'm really pleased that you have gotten the perception. Well, I do think that this is a time when the world's democracies need to work together. We see every day the need for more collaboration across the world's democracies. Uh, I think that democracy is under attack today by certain authoritarian governments around the world. The EU did not manage to get our story out. Yeah, we, we left too much space, especially in digital platforms, unoccupied by our story and our information. And we clearly see that if we leave this, this space free, it is occupied by some others. And this concludes the Copenhagen Democracy Summit 2020. We aim to be back in a physical format next year in Copenhagen and hope to see many of you then. Until then, I hope you will continue to support and speak up for freedom and democracy wherever in the world you live.